In the next few sessions, we're going to be looking at some more advanced corridor modeling techniques, and we'll actually be working with some real world data. On my screen is a corridor model that represents a state route in Florida. If I zoom in, we can see that this corridor includes medians, we've got sidewalks, driveways. If I pan this down, we've got entrances. Let me zoom out. I'll pan this over. You can see there are several assemblies used in this model. Now I'm afraid we're not going to have time to model the entire corridor during our time together. What I would like to do is model the area here starting just north of this entrance on the right side and we will model all of the pavements all the way down to the end of the line. So we're going to model everything from the curb and gutter on the right to the curb and gutter on the left including the medians and the lane transitions. Let me mention that I'm using the Florida DOT State Kit and I will be selecting some of their subassembly parts. That being said, there is nothing special about those parts. The techniques and workflows that we see here will work just as easily using traditional Civil 3D tools. Now that we've seen the inspiration for our project, I'm going to select a different drawing. This one contains the data necessary to start building this corridor model. Let's take a quick tour. Right here I have a surface called Exist. Currently this is being displayed as a border only. Let me zoom in. I also have several alignments. Right here I have the center line of State Route 7. I also have alignments that represent the left and right edge of pavement. Here we have the edge of traveled way left. Over here I have the edge of traveled way right. I have a pair of alignments that represent the edges of the median. Here's the median right edge and the median left edge. Let me zoom in. You can see that these alignments contain a kink. This is where we transition from a type D curb to a type F curb. We'll take a look at this in a little bit. I also have a pair of alignments representing my PGLs. Over here I have my PGL left and this yellow one represents the PGL right. The PGL alignments are the only ones that contain a profile. The remaining alignments are going to be used as horizontal targets only. What I'd like to do to start is model the corridor, everything from the end of this traffic separator all the way down to the end of this first median. And we'll look at how we can do that in the next session.